What's up everybody, it's Dom. For our first tutorial, we're headed to New Zealand to make an elevation model of Mount Taranaki using Blender and a free plugin called Blender GIS. Next, we'll generate the toolpaths in Aspire and make a micro data sculpture of the volcano on the Patriot. This location was suggested by one of my VIP patrons on Discord. And as you know, I love making volcanoes. The type of data we'll be using in this tutorial is SRTM-30 data. SRTM stands for Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, and elevation data of almost the entire planet was collected by the Space Shuttle in the early 2000s, so it's pretty old, but it's the perfect data set to start out with because it's lightweight, easy to use, and there's worldwide coverage. And I'm going to push G, and I'm going to search for our location, Mount Taranaki. But as you can see, we have a flat plane, so we need to grab the elevation data next. So go to GIS, Web Geodata, Get Elevation, and this will pull the SRTM data from Open Topography natively in the app. So you just need to wait a few minutes. It might take a minute or two. And there you have it. I'm going to get rid of this material and just have it flat. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a cylinder so we can do a Boolean operation and crop this into a disk. So let's add a cylinder, press S, scale it up. And now all we have to do is hide the cylinder and we've got our disk. Perfect. And now we're ready to export as an STL so we can work with it in Spire. All right, now let's give it a simulation. You always need to simulate. Whenever I don't simulate, it ends up costing me time and money. But just as a note, I really recommend starting out with small pieces like this because it'll let you quickly troubleshoot your workflow and you're not waiting for, you know, eight hours for a 12 by 12 piece to finish and, and it might not be perfect your first few goes at this. But I hope you'll see with this project that I'm showing you that something small size can really pack a punch and, and look beautiful. Now let's just uh, watch the magic. Let's start with the roughing pass. And I've got links to all the tools in the description. And normally I wouldn't use this tool for rich light. All right, let's see this finishing pass. Everybody's favorite part, my favorite part. I'm a little bit worried about circular tool marks because of um, what I was talking about earlier. One thing about data sculptures is they always look best when the light is in a position that mimics where the sun would be. I'm super happy with how this turned out. I uh, cut out a, an aluminum disc on the Bantam machine just to give it a little bit of weight and I really like to mix materials. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first tutorial. We really covered a lot and there's a lot more to cover too. And whether you're already a GIS expert, a CNC expert, or just getting started with both, I hope this gave you a really good start so you can begin to explore the world and all your favorite places through data, art, and fabrication.